All right, this is the ProtoArc EM01 ergonomic trackball or rollerball mouse. It's only about $40 right now on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description and you buy it directly from ProtoArc, which is pretty cool. This is a company I've worked with in the past. I reviewed other mice and keyboards that they've sent over. And this one is really cool. This might be my favorite. You get a really nice design. It does come in black as well, by the way, if you prefer a black tone. But this is, this is really nice. So you get a nice angle up here for your hand. It's a 20 degree angle. And if you want to, you can flatten it out just by rolling more of your pressure on this side. And now you have a flatter experience. There is no optical sensor down here, even though there's a hole right here. That's, I don't know why, but there is just the trackball. That's how you move your cursor. A very simple on off switch, and then a number of different buttons and indicators going on. And what was really valuable is on the back of the box, which arrived with this damage, it wasn't me, I promise. On the back of the box is a legend that explains what all the buttons do. So you can adjust the color, uh, using this button here, you can change the DPI settings. I had to look this one up though. The DPI levels are 1,000, 1,600, and 2,400. That's what you get. I found 2,400 to be way too fast, and I keep it at 1,000. So, you know, to me, I don't think that it's the same across every device. You know, like Logitech's 1,000 can be different from ProtoArc's 1,000, can be different from Razer's, because I'm normally more like a 1,600 guy with my Razer mice but that's where we are right now. This is also a different input method, right? You're rolling your trackball or rollerball around instead of actually doing a movement with your wrist. But I like this, it's pretty cool. You have some additional buttons as well. You can change devices. This connects with up to three devices. And if it were darker in here, you would see that device one is what's pulsing. So I'm currently connected to device number one, but I can press this button and switch to devices two or three. These two buttons are your forward and back buttons that you normally see on the left side of a mouse, like this one here. Instead, they're up here. So you'll always have your thumb on this roller ball and then, or track ball, and then you'll just advance using your pointer finger. It's a little bit of a different design, but I think it works. There's also this rib, this ribbing that goes across, which helps you with grip. And it's it actually just feels a little bit more comfortable, I think, than if you had a flat plastic surface. This is a little bit rubbery, but it's definitely plastic, but it just has more of like a rubbery, grippy feel than a normal ABS plastic-based mouse. This thing is normally $60. It's on sale for $40 right now with like next day delivery from Amazon, and you buy it directly from ProtoArc on Amazon's website. So there'll be a link in the description. My time with this has been about a day. It, didn't, it doesn't take too long to figure out if you're gonna be able to use a mouse like this. I have it currently hooked up here to my Legion and it feels really good. Um, I'm able to get some pretty solid precision. I wouldn't game with this at all. Like if you have wrist issues, you're seeking a device like this, but if you really want to game, you're gonna have to just deal with it and get something like the Death Adder V3 Pro, which is a bit ergonomic in its design, but it is still a gaming mouse. With gaming mouse features and speed and reaction. So anyhow, big thanks to ProtoArc for sending this over. I'll go ahead and uh, put a link in the description of the device. Oh, in case I didn't make it clear. So it's connected over Bluetooth to three different devices if you want, but it also includes this dongle that is color matching. So that's pretty sweet. All right, thanks a lot, folks. Catch you on the next one. Cheers.